Welcome grade 4 in the last part in lesson 4 the importance of sunlight. In this part we want to classify living organisms. There are two type of classification for living organisms. The first type we classify living organisms according to number of cells. The first type is unicellular living organisms. Unicellular living organisms as yeast fungus. This type, the body of living organism consists of just one cell. These cells do all biological functions. The second type, multicellular living organisms as plants, animals and human. This type of living organism is the living organism body consists of many number of cells the second type in our lesson we can classification for living organisms according to their feeding into three types first producers second consumers third decomposers so we can classify living organisms according to the way of feeding into three types producers consumers decomposers the first type producers producers when say producers of course we mean green plants why because green plants make its own food by themselves. Reducers are autotrophic or self-feeder. Plants make their food by photosynthesis process. If I want to define the reducers, they are living organisms that can make their own food by themselves through photosynthesis process. Why they can make their food? Because they contain chloroplasts or green plastids. For example, the green plants. Some types of bacteria. There are many types of bacteria. Some types are producers. And we will talk about another type of bacteria are decomposers green algae or green algae this type of plants live in water the second type consumers consumers and uh, uh, when we say consumers uh, we mean um, animals and human they are living organisms that depend on the reducer depend on the reducers to get their food directly or indirectly some animals feed on the reducers directly and another type of animals feed on another animals which feed on the reducers so consumers are living organisms depend on the reducers to get their food directly or indirectly for example Cows, sheep and chicken feed on the reducers or green plants. Lion, snake, hawk feed on consumers that previously feed on the reducers. The last type we talk about decomposers. Decomposers living organisms, they are living organisms that can't make their food by themselves why they can't make their food by themselves because they haven't chloroplasts so how get their food decomposers get their food through decomposing organic wastes organic wastes organic wastes معناها الفضلات العضويه such as dead bodies plant remains and decayed food so decomposers get their food by decomposing organic wastes this activity shows that some types of fungi 
are decomposers. Put a piece of soft drink exposed to air for many days. What do you observe? We will observe the root is formed on bread or if I leave orange or tomato. This root which is formed by some living organisms such as fungi which called decomposers. Examples for decomposers, some types of bacteria, some fungi such as bread mold fungs. The importance of decomposers. Decomposers are very, very important for life. Why? Because it helps us to get rid of organic wastes as dead bodies and plants remains. So decomposers help us to get rid of dead bodies. What happens if the decomposers disappear? The dead bodies will cover the earth. Number two, decomposer increase the soil fertility. When decomposers decompose dead bodies or organic wastes, it returns the main elements in their body to the soil. So this soil, sorry, so this element increase the fertility of soil. Number three, used in a lot of industries such as production of organic fertilizers, which is very important for soil, biogas and tanning laser. Finally, we can make a comparison between the three types, decomposers, consumers and producers. In this comparison, we can write the definition and examples for each one. We can choose from these two activities. The first activity, write a paragraph on a rule of some bacteria and fungi in nature. Second activity, collect photos to producers, consumers and decomposers. Thank you, grateful.